Knock, knock. Who's there? Matt Smith. Matt Smith who? Oh, I'll get my jacket. Hello guys. 20 Super Kings here. With another Eagle Moss Collections review. This time it's the official Doctor Who figurine collection. Issue number one. Featuring the 11th Doctor, Matt Smith. Let's have a quick look at the back. The issue 2 we've got Davros, the Daleks creator. Issue number 3, the Cyber Controller. So, upcoming issues. Uh, you don't have to wait for some of your favourite characters. Or some of the more iconic characters. There's the last Dalek. See next issue Davros there, and I noticed that there's going to be quite a few Daleks. There seems to be a, an evolution of the Daleks, although I can't tell much of a difference. <laughs> well, let's take a quick look at the magazines that come with it. As with the Star Trek collection, there are two inside. So let's take a look at the series guide first, which as with the Star Trek, shows you what's coming up, and what you can expect, there's a nice little pull out with the uh, various Doctors there, all the way from one up to the present. On the back it just shows you the different subscription gifts that you can receive. A binder, a free figurine, a plinth and of course the ability to have your digital edition. The magazine, much like the uh, Star Trek one, is around 19 pages long. Mostly focuses on Matt Smith. Tells you uh, about his character, about his doctor and the uh, episode in which the model is taken from. The Pandarica opens. So let's get into the model. More glue on the back. It's tough glue that too. Just have a look with the measuring ruler. The box is around 5 inches long and about 2.5 wide. So let's open her up. The keyboard acker on there. The 11th Doctor, the Pandorica opens. 11th Doctor. Have you got your copyright information? Collectors models not designed for or intended for play by children under 14 years. Made in China, of course. Once again with Eagle Moss Collections, it's well packaged. Let's just get rid of the seller tape. Now I have noticed before I've opened uh, the Doctor up here that I, I'm not sure if I've picked a duff one, but the paint just doesn't seem to be dead on. It seems to be a little off on mine. I don't know if I've just got a bad one. Like I say, I know they are hand painted, so there's bound to be discrepancies. Open the tie wrap. He's definitely not going anywhere. And here he is. Matt Smith, the 11th Doctor Who. And it feels feels quite pleasant. The 11th Doctor under the plinth. The uh, the base seems quite solid uh, metal, but the uh, the actual doctor seems to be made out of a plasticky material. I'm not too happy with the paint. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try and point out, especially with his hair, seems not to be painted correctly. Uh, the cuff on his jacket, on his tweed jacket, and uh, the braces don't seem to be painted on very well. Like I say, I don't know if I've just picked up a a duff. Copy. Actually, I didn't pick up anything. My girlfriend got it for me. So, so grab the measuring tape. It's just over four inches tall, for your information. So yeah, um, I must say I'm not that 
impressed. Um, I think the Daleks, etc., probably lend themselves to uh, modelling a little bit more than these human figures of the Doctors. So let me know what you think. Will you be getting it? Is it worth the six ninety nine a fortnight regular price? I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments, guys. Thanks for watching.